Welcome to another video on Base Bellagio. Today we are talking about taming, what skills you will need for it, and some secrets and veteran tips of how many points you actually need if you want to just tame horses, for example. So follow me. Domestication is the skill tree that it's under. For most of the skills, domestication is a secondary, but every skill within is a primary. It's over 800 points total. If you were to fully spec into a tamer, but at, at this point in the game, you don't need to do that. Let's start here. Animal care will allow you to train your pets faster. This skill was worthless up until now. When the game comes out, you will not be able to train your pets on the training dummies above level 25. I think I'm hearing now is the rumor. So animal care is going to get more useful for people that want to train their pets faster. I, I see this becoming popular. Taming is the main skill you're going to need to actually tame the pet. To tame, you hold the action key on the pet. For some people, that's R, some people E, and some people, the F key. Whatever you have the action key. Now, the higher this is, the better animals you're going to get, and now it tells you on the animal what skill you need, pretty much, to tame it. The, here is your first trick. The minimum skill you need to tame any horse in the game with ease is 51, and you could tame any horse, no problem. Some people say you could drop it down to 47, 45, if, but you'll have a little bit of trouble if you want to get the maximum amount of points out of it. If you want to go to a full taming build and have the cool pets that people gawk over, like lizards, elephants, terror birds, giant shore prowlers that look like dinosaurs you're gonna need that at a hundred vet veterinary not a veteran but a veterinary this is your knowledge of healing pets this is how you bandage pets for some reason this is a primary skill i hope they change it to secondary this makes no sense to be primary but you not only will need this to heal your pet with bandages and stare at the pet while you do it, but you'll need anatomy. Anatomy, right here, your knowledge of living organisms. In Ultima Online, this would give you damage bonuses. I don't think it does in this game. And well, can anyone determine that? But we do know that it helps with bandaging for people that use band-aids over magic. So this would be an extra 100 points you would need on top of veterinary. Unless you went down the magic route, then you'll need a lot more to be useful with magic, but you'll have more utility. So I don't know about this skill, but if you use bandages, you want this skill to heal your pet. Put it that way. Creature control. The more creature control you have, the more pet points you have. I think taming adds to your pet points also. But for creature control, for every two points of it, it's one level of pet points. And then advanced creature control is even more pet points. This is how you get the big brown bears, polar bears, and are able to control them. The advanced creature control book is in the jungle camp. It's 65 gold. It's definitely something you're not going to start the game with. This is something you plan on doing. Get friends, go to the jungle camp. Herding, very important skill if you want more than one pet. In my opinion, the pet system right now is highly flawed. Pets can't even defend themselves. You can't hear them while they're getting attacked by ninjas or stealth bandits. And I think there's room for improvement, but that being said, end game pets, high level end game pets are devastating and can kill a lot of people. So it is what it is. Everything in between though, I feel is a little wasted. 
I have made nothing but tamers. I love the tamers in this game. They get a lot of heat and a lot of hate. I think tamers are good. Beast influence. I think this is only for the master tamer out there. This makes it where you could be further away from your pet without losing aggro. Maybe if you're an archer beast tamer, this might be good. I've never been far enough away to lose aggro on a pet. This might be like, you know, if you die, the pet's left behind and the still fighting. I'm not sure. I would say skip this one. Beast mastery is a skill that's going to be much more useful down the road. It adds and unlocks more pet attacks. So right now it just unlocks one extra pet attack, which is good. But down the road, it's going to give them a lot more like think Pokemon, different maneuvers and attacks. This will be very useful down the road right now. It just adds more DPS, I think, for every pet. Definitely useful if, if you're a tamer. Now some auxiliary skills you might need as a tamer. I already mentioned anatomy. Magic, you might need. Believe it or not, is a secondary. You're going to want gathering. Well, gathering is not really for botany or anything. You're going to want to be able to get food for the pet. Depending on how much time you want to spend. Botany, I think, would would increase the odds of that getting more wolf brush stuff like that other than that taming is really cool when you're in town and you have a cool pet people flock around you it opens up conversation they are useful there is room for improvement i feel like they're a little slow you might be able to utilize them in a different manner than I did. In conjunction with archery, magic, even swords, sending a pet in as extra attack is good, but you have to realize it is a dispensable tool. Your pets are not bonded in this game. They do just die. And now with the new training methods and the update coming, it's going to be a lot harder for tamers. So let's see what happens to the game, to the meta behind taming. That being said, comment down below if you have any other tips and tricks for tamers out there, for new players. I hope to catch you on one of my live streams on Twitch. Check it out. Share this with a friend. And thank you for watching.